you shut the um, furnace off because we're not going to be able to hear you. Is it, is it going right now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just turn it down or whatever it is got to do. Hey, thank you all for coming to our good meeting, November 8th, Township Board. We have the minutes of the October meeting. Minutes of the Maple Valley Township meeting, October 11, 2021. Member board, board members present, Schwant, Miller, Francis, and Newell, and Deputy Benson. Absent Sanders, President Schwant, open with the pledge at 7 p.m. Reading of the minutes from September 13, 2021. Motion by Newell, second Francis to accept minutes, motion passed. Treasurer's report, $22,083.04 was put into the wrong account. Treasurer notified bank and money was put in correct account and the balance was $390,746.43. Motion Newell, second Francis to accept Treasurer's report, motion passed. Supervisor's report, Randy Heckman hoping to get Veterans Park the end of the week or next. Scout building working on getting gas and electric removed so it can be moved. And the items left in the building will be donated to another true. Parking spaces and true fence should be worked on next week for the following. County Commissioner Report, Kathy Bresnahan is our new commissioner but was not present at the meeting. Planning Commission Report, Dennis Delaney voted in as new planning commission vice chair. Planning board continuing to work on wind ordinance and requested from the township board consideration in hiring an acoustic engineer to help explain some of the sound terms and what they mean. NAP has sent out requests for pricing to several independent contractors but has not heard back. Board is willing to look at when prices come in. Oh, Donor report, two permits in September, one for a garage and one for a 30 by 40 pole barn for this. farm use. Mm -hmm. Assessor report, result from county equalization study, residential properties will go up 11% in 2022. Community center, no report. Fire board, new old reported one run on a vehicle accident and some new students started last week. Old business, COVID money, Swanton and Sanders worked on paperwork to receive COVID money. New business, reading of the bills, motion. Franson, second, Newell to approve paying the bills from check number 8813 through 8833 in the amount of $12,605.73. Motion passed. Clerk resignation letter read and motion Newell, second, Franson to approve res resignation of Shirley Sanders as the Maple Valley Township Clerk. Motion to appoint Kathy Benson as clerk until next election cycle. Franson, second, Newell, motion passed. Roundtable went from 7.16 p.m. to 7.34 p.m. Motion to adjourn. Franson, second, Newell. Motion passed. Meeting adjourned at 7.34 p.m. Respectfully submitted by Kathy Benson, Maple Valley Clerk. Thank make, you. I'll make a motion to accept that. Any additions or corrections to it? Okay. No. Nope. 
uh, support from the county manager, Kathy Brenton. Is she here? Is she here? Kathy Benson, isn't that? No, Brenton Brent Shannon. Brenton Shannon. Oh. You Brent said Kathy Benson. <laughs> <laughs> like, Brent 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 I thought so, but I'm like, please, she's right there. <laughs> <coughs> okay, she's Rocho. Yeah. Planning Commission. Right. Well, we, uh, for one thing, I brought you in the court for the competing system there. So, you know, we're just other than that, uh, we're, I think, Andy's got a quote on getting some master plans uh, copied up for uh, all of us. And I think even uh, we said something about a few extras for the, the board. This is a quote for seven of them, but they said just to, if you want to do a 10, then you can just take that price and add to it. Do we only have one copy right now? Yeah, we only have one physical copy, so it's seven of us. And we don't live together. Yeah. I mean, I like the people, but I don't really want to sit on the couch and read it with them. Yeah. Um, but I think it would be very helpful for us as the planning commission to be able to have that in front of us, to have the colored maps, to be able to pull them out, and to be able to look at the future land use that was is in the master plan currently, so that we actually have a visual and to be able to see it. And then the quote is for, I think it's like 2874 or something like that for each copy. Well, I suppose Paul is working with the wind orders and went over uh, what they had learned in the retreat. So other than that, we didn't do a lot of it. Yeah, we really need uh, the master plan to see how they write the ordinance of what they want in the township. Before we really go on too much further in the ordinance and stuff, so we thought it'd be a good idea. For seven of them, two hundred one dollars. Seven dollars twenty-one cents. I didn't think that was bad for we getting a print one. No, because they're quite a bit on each one of the Fifty-eight feet is long. Oh, they cash. Couldn't move that far. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 The maps are fold out too, so they'd be. Yeah, we'll get into the office. message for the two uh, independent sound people and ask them to get back with me and the one that they're going to email me so if I don't come after everything yeah I'll do that first thing let's get us in the right zoning administrator
us. John didn't have time to fill me in anything. But uh, we did get the COVID money. The government set up a time to get a meeting to go through everything that was legal that we could spend it on, decide what would be best for the township. How much did we get? We're still waiting on the COVID money. We're still waiting on the COVID Been voted on? I don't know that. Vote on no, it, yeah. the clerk was able to appoint a deputy. And then when the clerk is done, the deputy is done also. So basically, the clerk hires the deputy. So the board doesn't have to appoint the deputy. But you don't have to have an open meeting for that either? It says in the MTA book that the clerk. I think if you read it again, it says there's open meeting they in order to appoint a deputy. You. I have the November of 2020 minutes. There was an opening meeting to put you as deputy for Shirley last November. So shouldn't there be an open meeting for Shirley in case anybody else was interested? I'll have to look into it. I thought that was it. Okay, we'll table that for now. And uh, I'm looking here to look forward to the next meeting. They want to look at the sound engineer to go over and tell us what all these abbreviations mean. And Andy says she's called them, but she's still waiting for estimate on price, right? Uh, and you called them too? Okay, so. So I asked them about doing a, a Zoom meeting so that we wouldn't have to pay travel costs. Good idea. So, trying to make it most effective so we're not wasting the township money. Some people weren't sure we needed it and stuff, but I think everything going on with the ordinance we're trying to get passed, it'd be good to know what all the agreements that can stand for and what for that so, Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. Okay, we need to read in the bills. Check number 8834, 8858, on $14,167.04. I will make a motion to pay the bills. <coughs>
volunteer to run as deputy clerk or place my name in the hat for deputy clerk. Nicole. I realize it's tabled, but I, huh? Nicole Olson, O-L-S-O-N. They say, oh, you're a son, not a sin, huh? That's what I get all the time. Oh, it depends on who you ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm friends, son. Some are sons. They always play both. Yeah, we're sons. They always say, we're the sons. Son yep. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Yes. Christine Parsons, again, another small voice. But um, I know the major topic here is the wind turbines. But that's only been recently and ongoing for many decades here in the township. But truth and Particular is the blight, which seems to be getting worse. Radio, radio. Um, you don't drive around in town, and about every three houses has an unlicensed vehicle sitting there, not being used to dump them. And the junk that's piled around, it is embarrassing. Um, just, you know, when you come home, you like to have that warm feeling of being home, but first you have to drive through a junkyard to get there, and I just, that's what I'm saying. It would be nice if something could be done more active. Okay, so are there any guards there? No, you go to the police first? Or? I have. No, you've got to make the complaint to the township first that was the case. Oh, yeah, go to talk to Dave there. I talked to her a little while ago. Whoever told Dave to call the sheriff's, the sheriff's office and the deputy is on the right I have to give them a 30 day notice. I write down the county, I have a county uh, uh, flag ordinance, and then I put their number on the uh, violation form. But legally, I can't do anything, so then I take it to the sheriff's department after that 30 days is up that they just said they wanted so that it shows they're not making. Uh, look into it. To my understanding, they give them 30 days, and then uh, I think she is saying something. They came out to one house recently and proved that, so they're probably investigating it, and they'll probably give them 30 days, and then uh, what they do after that. Application for a There is also, I went directly to the county 
as well as today, and um, filled out a complaint. Um, so, yeah, you can do that too. Um, yep. But know that everyone will know where that complaint came from. But it's reached a point where I don't care. And whatever happened to this sort of place just a block um, from town there that has all the drag strip cars that looked like at one time it was being cleaned up and then it's right back to the same old blight. Yeah, the sheriff said he's gonna hire a couple deputies. That's gonna be their main job in the future. As soon as you go through that, that's going to be their job is to fight complaints. So. The, township, the township can't appoint a zoning administrator, a uh, zoning uh, enforcement officer if they want to. And he has the uh, he or she has the authorization to write citations. But that's why we switch it back over to the Stuff it's a slow them process, but yes, it is. But they said their sheriff said he's going to, by the June one you go through, he's going to put two deputies specifically to handle those complaints and stuff. So hopefully, get done. Yeah. I can make a motion to start the 
How much is it going to cost to send it to him and have it back? Does somebody know that cost? It would probably email. just be an email. It would be an email. No, they charge you. Yes. Well, it would be a charge for the email, but it would be cheaper. It ain't three hundred ninety-five dollars an hour. You think we're being charged for travel time? Yeah. No. Well, that up quite a bit in a hurry. Well, travel Here's time is not the, is usually not the same it as for a It's three hundred ninety-five dollars a period an from the time he leaves his office until he gets home. Um, that's per hour. Do you have a question or? Do you have a comment on that? Or? I'm just wondering who authorized this to start with? Nobody. Well, it was I mean, just. I've been through all the minutes from September 14th all the way to the current. Yeah. There's never been a vote for him to be here at all. Well, I think. What you guys have done over what the last 10, 15 years is just calling a lawyer if you need a lawyer at the planning commission. And I don't think that's changed. But that's a that's you a needed one time subcontract expense. But this year alone we're twenty two thousand and growing. Who yeah. authorized this? I guess there's it's never been voted on by any of you. Why is this guy sitting here wasting our time? We pay the planning commission to set up our zoning ordinance. Why is this guy sitting here running interference? They just came originally to help us the rights and wrongs and things that we were doing. So, but we, we didn't know he was going to come out. So this is what we're trying to do now, say that you don't come unless we actually ask you. And we want to go back to most of the time only just emailing him stuff by request. So. And, and, then then I have, and that, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think that's a good, good plan forward. Then it has to be approved at a meeting before he shows up as the way that it should be. Like, well, the planning commission meets before the township, so how are we going to vote on something? You vote on it today to have so it there the next time. Does the planning commission know what they're going to be working on next month? Yeah, they're working on the ordinance. They, I. I mean, we're you don't enough. know. We're far right. enough into it. You don't know don't if need you need them. Yeah, we got a yeah, lot of the little things we've already got straightened out. They, so they know when they worry. leave that planning commission meeting what last Thursday on. because they can't meet to decide anything from last Thursday till this next Thursday or they're in violation. So if it was voted on at the meet, you know, if Roger comes to the meeting and says, okay, this is where we're at, can we have the attorney next month? Then it should be voted on for the attorney to come next month, is what I'm getting at. But like Lee said, you didn't they didn't used to do it, they used to email back and forth, and it's a lot cheaper. But and they would also ask him to come if they occasion, wanted to. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I it would think that's be reasonable. Right. And I agree. If Roger comes to the meeting and says, okay, this yeah. is what we want emailed, and can we have him next month? But then that's when he comes in, not just Showing up here every month, and we're we can paying him two thousand dollars a month. I guess. So have them come in. Well, she's done with her question. We're discussing, discussing it, uh, yeah. so I don't think the three minutes applies. Make the motion that uh, he's not there immediately when we ask him to come up. So if you're not there, just when we want him for something special, come to me, and then we'll send him correspondence that we need an opinion. We uh. When John was on the planning commission as a supervisor, we were calling that lawyer almost three times every meeting. And you know that as well as I do, that we were calling them on questions of golf shorting. And so that was why it was kind of brought in at that time. So I don't know. I mean, we've had him here, here and he's done us a very good job of explaining things to us, uh, especially with the legal challenges. We're about sending you the wording to make sure we get what we got to change. Did you make a motion? Okay. Yeah, you, you did. You I'll make a motion, a motion to um, not have the ADA at the planning commission meetings unless uh, asked or voted on by the board.
and uh, uh, Trunk or Treat down here in the park. It felt really well. We we're wanting to do something this Christmas. Uh, we've already got it set up for December 4th between 3 and 5 uh, to have Santa Claus come. And uh, we decided like we're going to light the Christmas tree at that time. I just thought that would be something to see really that you could just put out there. I could, I just, <laughs> Roger, um, I know. Can you put one. that on the Coral Tidbits list, please? I, I don't know enough about that. Oh, you're on Facebook? No, I don't. Oh, can I put it on there for your you? Your wife's on there. there. Um, I think uh, Katie is going to host it. Uh, yeah, well, she doesn't want me around. She doesn't want yeah, us on there. Yeah. It's December what now? No. no. December 4th. No. December 4th. Yeah. Put your wife's on the Coral Tidbits. And then, what are you calling this? Like, tree lighting? I don't know. The fire parade, I think it's the first Saturday. That's the same way. Yeah, November. Yeah, November 4th, I think, is the Saturday. December 4th. December 4th. Yeah, December 4th. Yeah, December 4th. Maybe 11th. That's a look. I can't remember what. Of course, you can't bring it up in here. Do you have them on the same day? I don't know. I don't know if I can. Well, here you have them on the same day. There's no internet. when you were reading your minutes, um, you moved 22,000 because it put, that put the wrong account. What was that about? It's all for so happened. They put in the general account, or the general account to the bank account, and I caught it, so I had to change it. How much went to the bank? I went to the bank, and they took it out of the one account that they put in the wrong account. Oh, okay. It's all the money is just 